this video we're going to step through the process of replacing a power antenna mast in a 1998 Toyota 4Runner. This is typically a two person job but I'm going to show you how to do it with just one person. Make sure the driver's window is open and the keys are in the ignition and the ignition is off. It's always helpful to consult a, a technical manual, either a Haynes or a Chilton's manual, um, or you could also look for the information online. There's quite a bit of information available online. You also will get some instructions, typically with the uh, part that you're receiving. It's always a good idea to go and read that information, that documentation, just in case there's something unique for that. We'll need a parts tray, and this is just a food tray that came with uh, some takeout food. The only tool that you're going to need is a pair of needle nose pliers, and those are simply to loosen up the retaining nut on the power antenna mast. A few turns should loosen the nut enough that you'll be able to twist it off with your fingers. There's a uh, decorative cowl that can be removed simply by jiggling it. Inspect these parts to see if there's any damage, if there's anything broken or needs to be replaced. That looks pretty good. The nut looks good also. The threads look pretty good. So from here, now once the antenna mast is ready, you're going to want to scoot around to the driver's side and turn the ignition to the accessory position. Now what that does is it triggers the radio to turn on and the antenna mast is going to go up. Run back around, grab that mast while it's heading up and as it's coming up, guide it out and then pull the cable out. Now take note of what direction those teeth are facing. Mine face forward, yours may face backwards or sideways. You're going to want to take a look and see if the replacement part is identical to the uh, part that you just pulled out. Now mine looks a little bit different here, ah, but there's a sleeve. I'll move the sleeve up on the new one and now they're identical. While you have the old one out, it's a good idea just to take a look and to see what the damage was. In my case, some of the teeth were worn. Sometimes this cable busts and that is a much bigger uh, problem. Threading in the new cable simply involves uh, laying down the new antenna, thread that cable in, making sure that the teeth are facing in the same direction as they came out. In my situation, they face forward. As you thread that cable all the way down, it's going to engage a gear down there that's on a motor. It'll come to a stop. Once you hit that stop, twist the cable a little bit. You'll feel it go down a little bit more and those teeth will engage. You uh, roll that uh, cable out so it makes a nice arc. One, you're going to run around, you're going to turn the motor, put the ignition off, and that will bring that cable in. Run around, go to the off position, scoot back over real quick and grab that antenna because you're going to need to help it thread through and back into the uh, housing. In it goes, ta-da, you're done. That's really all there is to it in replacing it. Let's put all the pieces back together. It's simply a process of reversing the steps that you took um, to take this apart. A little push, jiggle and a push, and that cowling goes in place. And then put the nut back in place. Now this is a pretty dirty job when the cable comes out because it's full of grease. So you're going to want to keep a um, rag around. Um, screw it back on, a couple of turns with the pliers, and the job should be complete. There you go. The nut is tight. Clean things up and you're done. My name is Ed Berzminski. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on any new videos that come out. Thanks for watching.